Hey everybody, welcome back to DIY Boom Boxes in Texas. My name is Phil, your host. Now I've gotten a lot of requests for this video, so I'm going to do this real quick since I'm doing this build here. Um, people have been asking me about how to hook up these lithium-ion batteries. And make sure I try to keep everything in the camera. So, this is a 6,000 milliamp lithium-ion battery. And what you're going to need to wire it up is you're going to need a... Uh, 5.5 times 2. Point, I believe it's 2.3 millimeter inside diameter, and that's just going to plug in right there. Now, once we turn the battery on, it's going to stay on all the time, and we're going to turn it on and off with our switch. But I'll go over the switch in a minute. Now, I went ahead and put Velcro on the back. I use heavy duty Velcro to uh, let me pull this camera back just a hair here if I can. Let's see, there we go. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and peel that off, and we're going to stick it to the back wall. Now what I like to do is I like to set it in here where the switch is above the wire and not below. Come on now, peel off of there. There we go. See how situated like this, the wire is below the switch. This way you can easily reach in and turn the switch off if you're not going to be using it for uh, quite a while. So we're going to go ahead and set that in here along the back wall. Like that, press firmly, and don't forget to line your box with your dyno mat, or in this case your mat 66, which I endorse and I've got a video review on it. Now, over here we went ahead and put our connector in there, let me show you what that looks like. Um, this is how you're going to be able to charge your battery. Uh, your battery comes with a charger and the charger is going to plug in right there and this is what that looks like and it comes with a nut and a washer and you're just going to put that in there and you got your your wires right there so that's what that looks like and uh, put it back in the package so I don't lose track of it all right now we also cut a short red wire and black wire for hot and ground because we're going to wire uh, this this connection and our other one together this will be able to charge the battery So what you're going to do is um, I like to use lever nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and get a three connector uh, Wire nut. I mean a lever nut and you can use wire nuts if you'd like I prefer the lever nuts So we're gonna go ahead and tie these together So make sure you can see that there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take the positive first and put that under one side we're going to take the positive from the battery and go ahead and plug that in and then we're going to take our red wire which is this one and see now now the um, the charger connector and the battery are tied together now we're going to have an output from the battery which is right there and we're going to make sure our battery's turned off while we're doing this you don't want to have a spark and we're going to do the same thing with the ground so we're going to go ahead and take our three connector, like that, and go ahead and put one side from the charging port, one side from the battery, and the middle one. And make sure you strip your wires real good too before you put them in here. And lock it in there. Now, this is our positive and negative coming from the battery. Now what you want to do is go ahead and put a fuse on the positive side and then from the fuse you're going to run to your switch. On a battery this small you don't need an automotive relay in the middle of the circuit. If you were building a bigger box obviously we'd um, have a bigger battery in a different setup. So for this setup here you can run directly through the switch but make sure you put a fuse on there first. I'm going to show you guys a quick way to make a fuse holder. Go ahead and get some of these uh, F connectors right here and uh, get you a good crimper you can get an inexpensive crimper from the hardware store or the auto parts store i i invested a good crimper if you want to link to mine uh let me know if you do a lot of these it's worth the investment it's about 20 bucks and it crimps real good now we're going to go ahead and take another red wire or whatever color you want to use for positive i prefer to use red anything coming from the battery i prefer to use red and we're going to go ahead and strip that down just a little short right there like that and we're gonna go ahead and twist that put the connector on there like that 
and go ahead and crimp that on there. Now, I use 15 amp fuses. The blue ones, go ahead and uh, put one, one side like that. One like this. Now you got an instant fuse holder. You don't have to buy a pre-made fuse holder and you can just stick to the side of the wall right there. And now this red wire is going to go to your switch. Now I'm going to do a separate video on switches because they need a whole video by themselves. But I just want to show you guys how to do this. That's how you wire up your lithium ion battery, especially on these small projects here. Or if you have a, if you're in a cooler where everything's inside the cooler lid and you need more room, um, you're going to use a small battery like that. But like I said, you're going to use the tri connectors, or you can use wire nuts if that's what you prefer. But you're going to wire the positive together, the negative together, and you're going to have two jumper wires. And uh, the black one's going to go. To, you're going to tie all your grounds together. And I normally get the uh, five connector like this and go ahead and wire all my grounds together and it works good and your red one's going to go to your switch and then after that it's going to go to your amplifier and run your circuit so anyway guys thank you all so much for watching i hope this helps uh, please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions um, please ask them if you need a link to any of these things you see in the video um, just ask me I've tried putting links up in the description, and sometimes people can't see them. So if you need a link to something like the uh, the crimper or the, the lever nuts or the battery or anything you see here, let me know. And I will directly give you a link uh, when I respond to your question. So hopefully I have this project up this afternoon, guys. You got to see the video of this one. This is going to be really unique. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.